Gatorade, juice, coffee, and milk. There's so many advertisements out there designed to mix by these drinks. Juice for vitamin C, coffee for caffeine, milk for calcium. And while they may taste good, they hugely contribute to what make people overweight. Unnecessary calories. Hey everyone, you're, hey everyone, you're watching MRI TV and today we're going to be talking about drinking calories. Now before we get started, make sure you hit subscribe so these videos can come straight to you. And if you like this video and you found it educational, beneficial in any way, hit like and share this with a friend. And if you like videos on productive living, health and fitness, and strategies that would help you achieve your highest potential in the mind, body, and the spirit while having fun, head on over to the blog and subscribe to my free newsletter. So what do I think about all these drinks? To put it bluntly, don't do it, especially if you're trying to lose weight or get lean and fit. But everyone, it's got calcium and vitamin C. The only fluid our bodies were made for was water. Our bodies don't register these drinks the same way it does with solids. Our ancestors did just fine without milk or any of that Florida orange juice. They got all the nutrients they needed through the food they ate. The fact is, most drinks are just jam-packed with sugar nowadays. And most of them, we really just don't need. Ads and commercials just do a damn good job making it feel like we do. So why not drink calories? Here's my take on certain areas. I want to emphasize if your goal is to lose weight, get lean and fit, you'll want to follow these tips. First, health drinks. Drinks like vitamin water are jam-packed with sugar. These drinks are not a health food. It's delicious, but the vitamin content is practically non-existent. So let's stop kidding ourselves and let go of the sugar water. Second, fruit juice. Some may argue, I drink it for the vitamins. I'd rather have you eat it then drink it. At least you'd get some fiber with that sugar. The vitamins you get from these drinks are actually extracted first, then added back in to replace the original vitamins. Especially if you're trying to lose weight, 10 ounces of orange juice nowadays is easily 10 spoonfuls of sugar. Ultimately, it's flat soda with a splash of vitamins. Third, coffee. While there are some studies coming out that coffee can actually help with weight loss, a plain cup of brewed coffee can easily be two calories. But if you dress it up with a grip of sugar and cream, you're creating a cesspool of sugar. A frappuccino from Starbucks can easily be 230 calories, compared to the two calories from plain brewed coffee. Last I checked, we drink coffee for the caffeine for our energy, not to get a sugar high. And the drinks from Starbucks can easily go overboard with it. Number four, milk. Some may argue that I drink it for the calcium to prevent osteoporosis. A recent study showed that a person who drank less milk was in no way in any shape or form worse off than the person who did. Now let me ask you a question. If you saw a goat drinking milk from a cow, that'd be weird, right? Did you know that we're the only animal that drinks milk from another animal? Yeah, that's weird. Let's not forget that a lot of these animals are injected with hormones nowadays. Five, alcohol. Aside from the fact that alcohol has no nutritional value and is empty calories, one source states that too much of it can lead to a 23% decrease in testosterone in men. We all know too much of it is not good for you. The minute we start drinking alcohol, our body does whatever it takes to get rid of it right away. Alcohol can't be stored and it creates byproducts the body views as dangerous. So what it does is that it focuses on metabolizing those byproducts first causing a halt in the metabolic process for all the other nutrients your body needs, and eventually slowing down your metabolism, giving you a higher risk of the food you eat being stored as fat. So whether you want to drink your calories or not, it's entirely up to you. I enjoy them on my cheat days, but if you're serious about losing weight and getting lean and fit, you might want to heavily consider cutting back on these guys. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. As usual, I would love to hear from you guys. So head on over to the blog and share with me what you think. The more you share, the better. And while you're at it, make sure you subscribe to my free newsletter. Also, if you like this video, make sure you hit subscribe so these videos can come straight to you. And if you found this video beneficial, educational in any way, hit like and share this with a friend. That's it for MRI TV and I'll catch you guys later. Looking to lose weight, gain muscle, or increase energy? Click on the link below so I can give you a personal wellness evaluation. There's so many advertisements out there.